for me, my favorite Metal Gear game within the series, Metal Gear or Metal Gear Solid, for me, Peace Walker was my favorite, story-wise. I thought Peace Walker was the best. They went over like the Cuban Missile Crisis and stuff like that. These are times that are not focused on in games. Um, and I don't know why, because they're super interesting. Like they're really interesting, but no, everyone loves only World War II or whatever when they're like, you know, doing like their, their war jerk off sessions and making their games. And it's cool, but like, can we please focus on some really, really cool times in history? <laughs> I thought that them focusing on like that little era and those regions in particular was just really, you know, it was, it was neat. It was neat. Peace Walker's story really fell apart in the final act for me. It, it kind of does. It kind of does. Yeah. I'm not going to say it was actually like perfectly written or anything, but I liked it. I liked it. The PSP one? Yeah, it was the PSP one. I think fewer people played it because of that too. In the West, at least. Like people didn't really own PSPs in the same volumes that they had a PS2 or something like that. So I don't know. I never really felt the urge to play any of the Metal Gear Solid games, but I enjoy the Snake Eater song. I think they're good. I think people should play them. I think um, you could skip four. You could absolutely skip five and any of the associated games, either of those. Um, and you'd be great. <laughs> you'd be cool. Just read a synopsis. Um, I still love playing five. I, I, I enjoy it, but I don't think it's good. Like I will, it's a guilty pleasure for me. I will play it and have fun, but it's not, it's not good <laughs> the way the others were good. You know, that's just how it is. They had the HD collection. I wish, I wish people would, okay. This is something that kind of bothers me. When streamers embark on a Metal Gear journey and they're like, I'm going to play through all of the Metal Gear games. They play through all of the Metal Gear Solid series. They keep leaving out Metal Gear. You, yes, you can kind of skip the first one, but anything that doesn't have solid in the name, they skip. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, please, please. <laughs> like, like th this is a period of time that, that is important to the story and you're just going to leave it out. You just said one and two are unplayable. You are weak. You are simply weak. They are not unplayable. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you nuts? They are video games and I played them, so what do you mean? <laughs> That's just how it is, man. Pomo's Metal Gear Journey is incredible. She played everything. I'm glad she did. Yeah, a lot of people just skip, like, a lot of the base ones. So I'm like, man. <laughs> man. The last game is actually the first game. Look, it's, 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 bec it's because, no. <laughs> Where you go? It's because it's the time. It's very important because you get to learn what what big boss is doing at that time and i don't want to spoil anything but it's very very cool within the whole timeline therefore it's worth playing that's what i think okay revengeance yeah revengeance is technically like chronologically the last one that's in the super mega robo future <laughs> you know base take because you need to you need to live to see what happens to big boss you need to see it you need to witness it. The debate, and I'm not going to spoil, but the debate in that game. Incredible. I don't care if you think the graphics are crusty. You're weak to them. Because you are young and a fool. <laughs> no, I think you should play it. I still think it's enjoyable. I, 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 think, I think the second game is more fun to play, like, mechanically than the first, for sure. But I think the story that you get in the first one is just neat. Is it really Big Boss or is it Venom or one of the Big Boss's clones? You'll find out if you play through all of them. <laughs> so I can't skip four or suggest skipping it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying you don't need to play it. You could just watch the cutscenes on, like, YouTube. You know, and you'll get... You'll get most of it. You will. Now, if you have time, I just say play all of them. Just do it. But you could also just watch it like a movie. And you're, you're pretty, um, you're pretty solid. Also, that final fight, <laughs> in my opinion, without spoiling, the final fight of Metal Gear Solid 4 is one of the story-wise, like, coolest fights in a game, but mechanically, like, totally not. <laughs> so, so I like it. But, like, when you play through the whole game just to get to that, you're sitting there in tears fighting, and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gay one. Yeah, the one where they kiss. Yeah. I love that one. So it's just kind of... 
you know, final battle be like XDD kiss. <laughs> it's just a wet noodle fight of these people tiring themselves out for 500 hours fighting. And it's so beautiful. And then they kiss at the end and thus ends Metal Gear Solid 4. Love it. Love it.